Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. And today's update is one yeah special update because we're going back to a place where we have not worked a long time ago. But first off, we're going to rework a little bit of that part here we did some time ago. And after that, we're going into the old city on the left side, adding some new stuff. So stay tuned for today's update. That little area we did last time when we worked at the marketplace and next to the marketplace and we have that little green strip here and a lot of people on the German channel said that it would be the perfect place for a little little uh, lake or something like that so I removed some parts and of course that reddish brown problem once again happened. Some of the reddish brown plates broke by removing them so that's all yeah, it's had some problem with some older parts in reddish brown maybe you know it. I'm adding now the underlying part in different colors white then light bluish gray and dark bluish gray to have that mm, yeah when i'm adding the dark bluish um and that, not the dark bluish these um, dark blue tiles here then you have that uh, effect of getting into deeper and deeper water and it's a very nice effect i already did that next to the beach area and now I have added some little ducks and we have our little little lake here so I really like how it looks it was a fantastic idea coming from the community may mostly from the German channel of course but that's something important for me that the community is a very important part getting ideas creating stuff a lot of stuff I did in the city comes from the community like a lot of stuff near in the marketplace or the um, the street car that's something I did not want to do at the first um, part in my city but the community wanted it and something like that is a very important part for me that um, yeah that dialogue with the community but now coming back to the big part of today's update that's the old city um, here with the wall and that uh, big uh, watchtower here but that's unfinished for a long time as you can see here you can see all these open studs here on the side and it's unfinished and that's something i want to change today so i'm adding a lot of parts here on the outer part of that big watchtower above the uh, beach area here and as you can see it's it takes a lot of time and a lot of stuff that's something you might not see when you see the finished product here that finished uh, watchtower but you're adding a lot of tiles and plates in different colors like in sand green light bluish gray dark bluish gray different kinds of plates different kinds of tiles and then you get that very nice looking um um, type of watchtower with a very fantastic texture I think and it looks very very um, yeah not so common it's just like you want or like you see something in the real world and that's as I said often a very important part here in my brick world project because I do not want only a realistic scale but also realistic um, yeah realistic scale style at everything so it's very important for me that the watchtower and wall as you can see on the left side has a very realistic look that's the finished part on that side so we have done now three sides of the big watchtower two sides were done months ago now we just have to do the left um force sides that's the one here on you can see right now it's not so big so we can do that very fast and then we have to do the missing parts here on the wall itself as you can see it's cut it on the right side because it's the end of the table at the moment uh there are coming new tables in the future so the old city wall and all the city gate and everything else here will be um getting bigger and bigger in the future like a whole old city here but that's now the finished watchtower for the first time i'm very glad i did that uh, do not look at the chaos in the back that's something my children did some time ago here in the room i did not have the time to clean up all everything here so just don't watch it uh, watch at the watchtower <laughs> and yeah that's the finished part here. We have also finished the uh, wall here. We have some new minifigures, as you might know. There's a fantasy slash medieval festival in the city, so I can use a lot of these figures, like these Harry Potter figures here. That's just some people here um, going to the medieval festival. So we have everywhere the possibility to use a lot of stuff and also have 
added the light here that's not the finished uh, part of it just put it in that connector but that's not how it should look also added the other side here down that's also not how it should be but it's a very fast method to have that missing lights now activated but i have to do some more stuff in the future to make that modular really modular and not adding the light or getting the electricity for the lights from other models that's not how i want to do that but that's not something i want to do today just adding a new wall here because i think it might be a good opportunity to add here a wall because the left side here of the old city is a little bit higher not so um, yeah on another level and i have to get very fast or very quick up to that level so i think a little wall here might be the best option to put on the left side even it looks like we have a kind of kennel where the people are going to through so that might be not the final idea but for the moment i just adding and building up that little wall adding some greenery stuff and that's how it looks for now for today's update we did some well, nice stuff here in the old city area here and the city wall the old city wall the watchtower is finished and as always what do you think about today's update do you have any ideas for that medieval fantasy festival all that area here of the old city here and on the left side i'm um, think we are adding some more buildings in the future some old buildings of course in the middle a kind of uh, market area where one part of the medley festival will be located and of course when we are going to add more tables to the city in the future the city will be expanded also the festival will be expanded in the future but that's nothing for today's update we did a lot of stuff today it took me a long time to add everything here to make it how i want to have it and i'm really glad how it looks in one of the future updates we have to work a little bit more on the other side as you can see the uh some little um, gaps on the left side also have to add that uh, playground on the right side where we have that very big 10 area and that's how all the area looks now in the dark we have that light here in our um, gate and on the other side just one moment it looks like that at the moment and i think it looks quite nice it's a very realistic look in my opinion and i'm very glad how it came out in today's updates so yeah that's it for today just some final views of that area for today and then that's everything for today just uh, have a happy new year 2024 i'm going to add some more updates in the next day so we are coming nearer to the point where the german channel is and as always feel free to write everything you want to write about today's update like that little lake we did today as a little um, idea from the german channel and the comments from there so stay tuned for future updates and bye